In this video, I'll introduce one of the kind of most important basic concepts in circuit analysis, uh, which is high pass filter with RL circuit resistance and inductance. And in other videos, I'll talk about high pass filter with RC, then low pass filter with RL and RC. Again, these are very they're basic, but they're very important concepts uh, Concepts to understand how when you have resistances, capacitances, and inductors, you know, in a circuit, how they behave, you know. So if we look at this circuit here, so I have a source, I have resistance, inductance, then I have, so input is Vs, then an output voltage across the inductance. So if I do voltage divider, you know, and transfer function, you know, H is just a transfer a transfer function, and um, in terms in frequency domain, you know, J omega. So the output output voltage divided by the input voltage, which basically J omega L divided by R plus J omega L then i can take the magnitude of that so this is just magnitude so omega l divided by square root of quantity r squared plus omega l quantity squared you know and i can divide by r both sides you know then i do the same thing for the angle so omega is R divided by L, resistance divided by inductance. It's called the cutoff frequency. So if I graph the magnitude versus frequency, you know, omega, sometimes, you know, we refer to frequency as omega or F, you know, in hertz or radians per second. So it's, we, you know, they're used kind of in, in the same way. So if I graph, you know, the magnitude versus omega, you know, I will notice that this filter will only pass those signals that are after that come after the signal with R divided by L. And obviously, you know, so we started with H, you know, the transfer function. We calculated kind of the value. Then we can put that in polar form as magnitude and angle. And from that, obviously, we can go back to the instantaneous uh, signal, you know. So what I did here, basically, I took, so I, you know, here's an example. I have R is 300 ohms. Uh, L or inductance is 4.3 milli Henry. Then I calculated the cutoff frequency, you know, or you know either F or omega. So F is in hertz and omega is in radians per second. Then what I did was I changed the frequency as you can see here, and I highlighted the cutoff frequency. And I also calculated the omega. Then just to make things simple. I just provided the input voltage as one volt. Then I calculated the output voltage based on this formula here, basically. Then I calculated the transfer function, you know, which is output voltage divided by input voltage. And you can see as the frequency changes how the output voltage, you know, or the transfer function, you know, change, you know. So you see like it's, so right here, basically it's zero. So the transfer function is zero, you know, then it starts changing a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. So when you get to the cutoff frequency, it's root two, basically it's 0 0.707 and it starts increasing. So you can see, and we started with one volt. So the, so the input is one volt. So you can see here when we got to, 35,000 hertz, the output is close to the input basically. So, graphically, so this is in a tabular form. Graphically, you see here 
here's the magnitude versus frequency. So you see as frequency changes, you see the the you know the magnitude kind of increases. So here's kind of the cutoff frequency. So that's why it's called a high pass filter. It passes only signals with a high frequency. Thank you and have a great day.